Hey YouTubers, this is the Gear Tester with a little update on my Smith & Wesson Model 617. I have a couple videos out um, which discuss the problems I've had with my Smith & Wesson Model 617 which is their medium frame revolver chambered in 22 long rifle. Uh, a pistol which I've had a lot of problems with and about two months ago I sent my 617 back to Smith & Wesson for the second time and with it I sent a letter and I ended up getting called by a customer service representative and we talked some and I told him that I didn't want my old Smith & Wesson 617 back even if they fixed it I just didn't really want it back anymore we'd had enough problems with it and I didn't want a brand new 617 but that I would prefer a different pistol chambered in a different caliber altogether. And about five weeks ago, Smith & Wesson got me this pistol here, which you see before you. This is the, the Smith & Wesson Model 60. It's a J-frame revolver, chambered in 357 Magnum. And I have enjoyed shooting it in the last five weeks. Had a lot of fun with it. And as far as I'm concerned, Smith & Wesson has done uh, a good job of taking care of the problems I had. They tried to fix my pistol uh, when they realized uh, that there were some more problems, maybe that the gun was flawed. Uh, they were willing to give me a brand new pistol completely, not just the same pistol brand new, but a, a completely different pistol chambered in a completely different caliber. They did so timely. I've come to the conclusion that the best way to get a hold of Smith & Wesson is not through the phone. So probably don't don't try using your phone. I would say get online, um, click around on their website, and get a hold of them through their website. They've got a, a page there that allows you to put in some information, problems you're having with your pistol, your email address, your home address, and then um, the serial number of your revolver that's having a problem that you're having a problem with. And I found that within usually less than a week, they get back to you with a, a shipping label, shipping information, which allows you to ship the gun for free. And then from there, they'll usually contact you and talk to you via the phone, but they'll initiate that, not you. So I'm very happy with Smith & Wesson. I'm very pleased um, how, how they how they ended up taking care of me. I wasn't uh, throughout the process, but near the end of the process, uh, they've, they've done a good job. They've taken care of me. I would not have a problem buying another gun from Smith & Wesson, and I don't think you should. It will be interesting to see what uh, Smith & Wesson does with the Model 617, how they maybe work on it, uh, retool some of their machinery possibly. A gun that really interests me a lot is the uh, Ruger uh, SP-101 chambered in 22 long rifle. That's a, an, an old pistol. I guess Smith and uh, Ruger had that out. And then they took it off their product list and now they've reintroduced it with a couple key changes which make the revolver um, very interesting to me. It's got eight rounds in the cylinder. Chambered in 22 long rifle. I'm not shooting brass everywhere. And it's 30 ounces. So that Ruger SP-101 looks like uh, maybe a good competitor or a, a better option right now than the Smith & Wesson 617. Uh, it's also going to be, it looks like, considerably cheaper. So this is the gear tester with uh, an update on my Smith & Wesson model 617 and kind of a conclusion of some problems I've had with Smith & Wesson. Uh, they've done a really good job of taking care of me and I'm very, very happy with the end result. I've enjoyed shooting this gun. You can expect a tabletop review of it coming up in the next couple weeks. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.